We are so excited to bring in Olivia Moultrie of the Portland Thorns now. Olivia, thanks for joining us. Yes, thanks for having me. You are on the heels of your first full national team camp. How was it? How are you feeling? It was amazing. I mean, obviously, I was very excited to kind of get that first email. Um, I've definitely wanted to be there for a while. I've been watching it forever. And so, yeah, I was very excited to be there. And although, like, I hope that I get to be there plenty more times, you know, and I absolutely am looking forward to the moment where I can get my first cap and everything like that. It was an amazing experience. And to be there with everyone and just to, yeah, get to see what it was like firsthand was very exciting. And, uh, yeah, I hope to go back very soon. Well, Olivia, I wasn't there. What was it like? I mean, you've been in youth national team camps and you've been playing professionally for a number of years now, but what was that senior national team camp environment like? Yeah, it was definitely fun in terms of there's a level of professionalism, obviously, that, um, you know, and a standard that we uphold while we're there. But at the same time, it's like we're still doing what we love every day and we get to have fun on the field and compete together. And um, it definitely just brings the team closer in terms of like that's kind of where everyone shares all that you know, commonalities is on the field. So that's really where I felt like I was able to get to know people. And then obviously just like being able to travel to different places together. Um, it's very fun, but yeah, at the same time, it's competitive and there's a high standard, but in the best way possible, uh, I definitely wouldn't have wanted to be doing anything else. Olivia, you got to do it with some people you're pretty familiar with, though. Some of these young players on the squad, you guys have played together throughout your youth national team careers. Now you get to experience these kind of first camps together. Talk about the relationship you guys have as this young core group and what that meant to see a player like Jaden Shaw have the performance that she did and, and Alyssa Thompson as well. Yeah, I, it's very fun. I mean, yeah, Jaden, Alyssa, and I have been playing together since – we were like 11 and 12. <laughs> we went to a UK CONCACAF tournament back in Florida like years and years ago. So it's just so funny to think about that and how long we've known each other. And now that we're all back to kind of what our dreams have been for a while, you know, to play on the full team and now doing that together. That's obviously super cool. And it was really fun being able to watch Jaden, you know, get a goal and get her first cap and be there for that and just see, um, yeah, that we're all kind of getting to where we wanted to be and we're still working towards it. But it was super cool to be able to experience that together for sure. Now, Olivia, you play on one of the most decorated club teams you've played with. Lindsey Horan, Sam Coffey, Tobin Heath, Crystal Dunn, Sigita, Rocky. Christine it, Sinclair. Christine Sinclair. It is endless. <laughs> now, we know you've obviously taken a lot learning from them on the pitch, but I want to know what are some of the biggest lessons you've learned off of the pitch from these veteran players? Yeah, I think a lot has come from just like how they handle um, themselves on and off the field and just the professionalism in which, you know, they kind of bring to the environment. And I think that's been one of the biggest things I've been able to learn, but also just like, they're just people, you know, just like we are. And it's so, it's fun to get to see that side of them as well, you know, and be able to be teammates with them in that way, because obviously, you know, when you're watching on TV, that's not the side you're seeing. So there's definitely an amount of like, yeah, we get our jobs done and we show up here and we have responsibilities, but at the same time, like we're just having fun and we're teammates and we love what we do. And so that's an enjoyable sight to see as well. Olivia, you talked about the commonality being on the field, but obviously there's a large age difference um, between you and some of the veterans on the team. What about <laughs> off the field? Like, how do you guys connect off the field? Because we were talking about how there are so many different topics, depending on what age you are, that you're hitting. Um, how do you guys kind of connect off the field when there's a big age difference, say? Yeah, well, I mean, I try to pride myself with uh, being able to be in groups that are a lot older than me. <laughs> I try to see if I can just fit right in. But there is definitely an aspect of, like, as I have grown on this team, um, now it's kind of like the age gap is forgotten a little bit more than it used to be. You know, like when I was 15, it was, like, quite glaring, and it's hard to just, like, forget that it's there but now that everyone's gotten to know me so well while I've been here it's kind of like we forget <laughs> sometimes that the age gap is pretty big um and yeah I mean at a certain point it's like yeah soccer is obviously something that we'll always have in common but you just I don't know it's hard to like come up with things on the spot but you just find certain things that you're like you connect on like reading like I've connected with so many teammates about books recently and it's just some things that we you know as a team love together and it just kind of helps create little relationships off the field yeah so so what's what's the book of the moment we got to know that <laughs> 
Uh, well, I just finished like all the Sarah J. Mass books. So Crescent City, Throne of Glass, and A Court of Thorns and Roses. Yeah, like 15 books or whatever. So I've been like, I've been locked in. Okay, I had to- uh, <laughs> Olivia, good. I love that. I'm a big reader and I just started the that series. And so okay. many other NWSL players have recommended it to me and I just jumped in. So add her to the well, book club, yes, Olivia. Yes. Just letting you know, like you're going to be, you won't have a life. You, you'll just read all day, every day. It's well, so I good. love that you think that we have a life, so I appreciate that, <laughs> Olivia, because as Jenny just said, I would have been one of those older players that was playing with you. The thing that has impressed me the most about you at such a young age is that maturity, is your ability to handle so much as a teenager. How have you been able to navigate this entrance into professional soccer because I've heard you speak that you pride yourself in this vein of playing and being driven by the joy of the game. But when you're a professional, I've been there. It's different. It, there's a different drive that you have to mix in. How do you balance that? What have you been able to do to manage that? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, I find that showing up every day and the hard work that is required, I find that to be enjoyable. So yes, while I think that, you know, loving what you do is important, I at the same time um, have big goals and I look forward to going after those every day and I look forward to competing in everything that we do. I'm a very <laughs> competitively driven person. And so I just think that like, I've gotten to a point where, like professional soccer is not just like a and like it's it's an uphill battle it's not just something that is perfect all of the time and so that's definitely something that you know with your teammates you learn a lot throughout the season but also just the fact that like I get to show up and do what I love every day no matter if things are going perfectly or not and so I like to take advantage of that and take advantage of the fact that I know I can get better every day and so sometimes that's what's the most important thing because you can't always control the big things and the things going on around you but I can control how I show up every day and yeah, it comes back to at the end of the day, I do love what I do. So that makes it a lot easier yeah. for sure. Olivia, you are the reason that so many young players can play in the NWSL and even have that avenue. And when you started walking that path, it was incredibly dark and your footsteps had to light the way. You were the very first to do that and to break those barriers down. Now that you are this incredibly mature 18-year-old <laughs> midfielder with the Portland Thorns, when you look back on your experience entering into this league, and of course it was a little bit, uh, there's a bit more turbulence than some of the 15-year-olds have had to face now, but what would help make it a little bit easier for that transition from being 14, 15 to then being thrown into a professional training environment? Yeah, I mean, I'm never going to say that it's going to be easy. Obviously, I can't speak for everyone's experiences, but I can speak for mine in terms of like, it wasn't easy, you know, and I just think that the thing that got me through everything is, I mean, going back to my goals and how important they are to me, you know, like I obviously I want to be on the national team and I want to be able to win trophies with my team and all of that. And so coming back to who I wanted to be just allowed me to throw myself in every day and just be myself. Like I knew at the end of the day that even if, you know, the team around me right now was a little hesitant that I was becoming a part of that. It was like, I knew that I could help. Uh, I knew that I wanted to be on the field and help us win games. And so for me, it was just like, if I was myself every single day, eventually people around me started to be like, oh, you know, I like her. <laughs> and that's kind of how I want everyone over to be on it. Like in terms of at first, you know, I wasn't super close with everyone, but as I just came in every day and went to work and, you know, showed how much that I cared and wanted to help the team win at the end of the day, we're a team that wants to win. And so people were able to grasp onto that. And that definitely helped the start of a lot of relationships. And then off the field, things just, you know, grew naturally as I was around people every day. But yeah, I would say just me being myself every day is kind of what got me to where I am now. And I definitely wouldn't have changed that. So. Olivia, we love to hear that. We've mm -hmm. Everyone speaks so highly of you, to your credit. So looking ahead, you guys have a huge semifinal coming up against Gotham FC this Sunday. With all of your internationals back in, into, your, into Portland, what's your mindset going into this game? What are your goals? Um, how, how has training been? Just tell us about this process leading up to this match. Yeah, I think training to start has been extremely fun. Like the energy around the group, I, uh, as the British like to say, we're buzzing right now. We <laughs> are just like, we just, the energy heading into the game is extremely exciting. And I think kind of in our thoughts, we're just like, all right, 
we need to extremely focus on this one. Like right now it's, there's one game left, you know, we can't get caught up in what could be coming. And so it's like just completely setting all our energy on this one game and that we're doing it together. So it's literally like, we're all in, or, you know, we're not going to be able to win. And so that's kind of drawing everyone really close. Um, and even though we obviously pride ourselves on trying to do that throughout the whole year, it's like you definitely get this extra ounce of energy heading into the playoffs. Um, and so we're really excited for that. But yeah, training's been great. And the energy around the group is really exciting. Olivia, well, you have the history uh, on your side. You guys won it last year. Do you remember whether this was the exact feeling you guys were feeling uh, around this time uh, in playoffs last year? It's pretty dang close, if not about the same. But yeah, just a kind of exact same situation in terms of getting the bye and um, not having played a quarterfinal. And so everyone kind of feeling that fresh, rejuvenated energy and ready to step onto the field, especially at home. So yeah, very exciting. Well, one last thing, Olivia. We heard you're a sneakerhead. So what sneaks are you wearing to the big game this weekend? Oh, that's a good question. I need to look at my whole selection before I finally decide on one. But I probably will go for a Travis Scott. Mm. That's sure. when you know you have a sneaker collection. Yeah. You want a collection. Mine's just like the shoes at the bottom of me. my closet. <laughs> I, uh, wow. The Travis Scott, that's that's a good one. I actually know what that shoe is, and I know zero shoes. So that's how you know <laughs> that she's going to be rocking and heavy. Thank you so much for joining us, Olivia. Yeah, good luck. Thank you, guys.